Hello and welcome back. I'm going to give you uh, five tips on how to improve your front crawl this summer 2021. This is the video that you need to watch before you start swimming this summer. These five tips I start with every new student that works with me. So if it works for them, it's going to work for you. Okay, so please pay attention to what I'm about to say, okay? This is gonna save you a lot of time and hassles, okay? Number one, before you start attempting front crawl in the water, please, please, please put on a swim cap and goggles. You have no idea, I know this sounds like bare bones minimum, but you, will not, you have no idea how many students, beginner students come up to me and ask me, Justin, can I just do front crawl without putting my face in the water? Cause I don't like, getting the water up my nose and all that and blowing bubbles and all that. It happens a lot. A lot. And there's no way around this. I want you to imagine that you are piloting a speedboat in the water. And the speedboat looks like this. The nose is up in the air, 45 degrees, and you're trying to travel long distance like this. How fast do you think the motor's gonna burn out if you're going to be traveling like this in constant motion? throughout the water. Same thing goes with front crawl. If you don't put your head in the water, your body's gonna look like this, 45 degree angle. This is your head, this is the water. This is you traveling in the water. Do you know how taxing this is going to be on your body, on your legs? Being in this position, 45 degrees. Compared to this, like all speedboats, they travel along the surface of the water for maximum efficiency. And that's how they fly. Please, 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 for the love of God, invest in some good goggles, proper goggles, and a swim cap. A swim cap is like the nose of an airplane, all right? It keeps your hair tidy, and it makes you more hydrodynamic. Not aerodynamic like in the air, hydrodynamic in the water, okay? It helps you fly in the water more efficiently, okay? And if you have no hair, if you shaved your head, then you don't need a swim cap, okay? But for everyone else like us, we all need a swim cap, okay? And if you want to know what kind of swim caps I recommend, click the link down below. Goggles, you need good goggles, okay? We don't look like this in the water when we're doing front crawl. We're looking like this. Do you see my eyes? My nose is pointing down to the table, but my eyes is looking towards you guys in the lens. This is how we look like when we're doing front crawl most of the time. Most of the time I'm looking down and often I'm checking my surroundings, what's in front of me, every so often by looking up. Because holding this position with my eyeballs, looking towards the camera, with my nose pointing down, is not fun, okay? It's like stretching, it's like cranking your neck back. Okay, so that's why we wear goggles. We wear goggles so we can keep our eyes lo looking down in the water, not looking out of the water, down. And we look towards the sides when we side breathe, okay? But I'll get into side breathing a little bit later. Tip number two, instead of a life jacket, wear a flotation belt, okay? Uh, in a previous video I mentioned, uh, is the life jacket good for beginners? Yeah, it is good for getting yourself oriented in deep water, okay? It's just like wearing, I don't know, a space suit in outer space, okay? If you wanna get used to that sensation and play around. But when you're going down to doing the actual front crawl, you can't really move with a life jacket because it's so bulky, the padding your arms are gonna be like this. You can't move your shoulders, your limited range of motion. And it's gonna keep you in that 45 degree angle like a life jacket's supposed to because it's supposed to keep your mouth away from the water at all times. That's the whole purpose of a life jacket. Whether you're conscious or unconscious, when, you, when someone's wearing a life jacket, that person's most likely not going to drown or expose their mouths to water, which they can inhale and then potentially die, okay? That's what a life jacket is for. So instead of wearing a life jacket, wear a flotation belt, okay? So if you're wondering what a flotation belt is, a flotation belt is a belt that you wear around your waist and it keeps your hips up in the water. So a lot of people, when you're having that problem, right? You're in that 45 degree angle, right? Your legs are dangling below your body like this because you're really scared of lifting your legs up towards the surface. It's very scary at the beginning. We've all been there. Being in that Superman position is very vulnerable, all right? So, the flotation belt lifts 
our hips up so we don't have to worry about keeping our legs up towards the surface at all times because we all have a hard time we all struggle keeping our legs up in the beginning okay we become bottom heavy a lot a lot of beginners servers become bottom heavy okay so when you wear the flotation belt boom your whole body is just balanced just boom it gives you a boost instant boost towards the surface of the water and it keeps you there and then you can start practicing your flutter kicks and your arms at the same time with ease okay you become like 50 pounds lighter with a flotation belt wear two flotation belts if you want if you want even more boost it's that good and uh, you'll see like in most pools like uh, old women wearing flotation belts because they're doing aqua size in the deep water but uh, I've used it on my beginner students to practice front crawl back crawl and all kinds of things and it helps them. it suits them fine okay it's like training wheels it's the best form of training wheels in my opinion for front crawl tip number three okay so now you have your goggles you have your swim cap you have your flotation belt you're ready to tackle the water what do you work on first first thing you work on is not the arms I know what you're thinking front crawl crawl as in the arms no we work backwards what we first work on the front crawl is the legs okay the legs have to be like automatic okay when you do your flutter kicks with front crawl you shouldn't be thinking about it okay and if you're thinking about your kicks when you're doing front crawl that means you haven't worked on it enough okay it has to be that automatic you don't even think about it it's kind of like uh, pedaling on a bicycle how often do you think about each pedal or each foot placement that you put on a, on a bike okay if you're thinking if you're consciously thinking about your legs pressing down on the pedals when you're riding a bike you haven't practiced enough most of the time we're thinking about this our arms are steering steering the bike right left and right and brakes and all that this is where most of our attention goes when we ride a bike front crawl most of our attention goes towards our arms okay most of the time but before we can do that we have to automate our legs okay how do we automate our legs by thousands and thousands of hours of kicking that's the only way you can do that okay and when you do the flutter kick keep this in mind flutter 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 flutter, flutter. okay this is flutter kick this is not flutter kick what is this this is power kick okay you see a lot of kids pa 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 spank the water never spank the water if you want to swim thousands and thousands of laps you have to maintain a proper and consistent flutter kick flutter kick tap 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 flutter 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 it should be just effortless when you kick it takes thousands and thousands of hours to make it seem effortless in the beginning you're thinking really hard you're, you're really consciously kicking but just like riding a bike the more you pa 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 the more you're not going to go anywhere okay so keep that in mind you got to work on your flutter kick so what i usually do is swim cap goggles flotation belt kickboard held out in front flutter kick okay flutter 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 just do that do that drill over and over and over and over and then you look up the side if you want doesn't matter but the focus is the flutter kick okay you shouldn't be tired when you're doing one lap of flutter kick only from one end of the pool to the other okay and here's another good tip if you are doing flutter kick drills from one end of the pool to the other you shouldn't be going fast okay when you take your arms out of the front crawl equation you, it, you are not really going to fly in the water okay you need your arms to fly the arms do about like 70 to 80 percent of the work the, the actual work when it comes to front crawl so if you're moving slowly in the water but you are moving forward that means it's working okay your flutter kick is working so don't don't try to push it by adding power and trying to catch up with somebody who's doing a complete front crawl beside you okay it's not gonna work go slow don't compete 
It's not a race, okay? It's like a tugboat. Jung, 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 jung. You should hear that sound when you sleep at night. That's what I heard. Jung, 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 jung. That's my flutter kick. If you don't hear that, you're not doing flutter kick, okay? If you're doing pa, 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 it's not gonna work. Tip number four, okay? Now that you're comfortable doing your flutter kick, it's time to work on your breathing. All right, so if you're doing flutter kick drills, you're gonna be holding a kickboard out in front of you. You're gonna be blowing your bubbles, breathing to the side or in front, like most of us. Now, side breathing is the most difficult part of the equation when it comes to front crawl because the timing is very difficult. Having one arm in front of you, the other arm to the side, your whole body exposed, and you trying to divide your face in half in the water, takes time to master. Okay, you're not gonna master this overnight. So here's my workaround. In the beginning, instead of trying to refine this, get used to flipping onto your back, okay? And I call this the barrel roll, okay? I made a video about this a, a while back for people who, who struggle with side breathing. If you don't feel comfortable breathing on your side, flip to your back, okay? When you flip to your back, grab a gulp of air and then flip back onto your front and continue with your front crawl. And it's a hack. It's a cheat. It's no shame if you do this in the water. I've done it before. It gives me a break. I can take as much time as I want. If I'm flutter kicking on my back, it gives my whole body a break. And the fun thing about kicking on your back is you get more distance. You gain more distance kicking on your back versus kicking on your front. It's because your feet, your feet are more leveraged and more angled properly to push the water away when you're on your back versus on your front, okay? If you don't believe me, try it out. Kick on your back versus kicking on your front and see how, how much distance you gain, okay, with each flutter kick. There's a big difference. Once you're comfortable with barrels, then you can go back to side breathing, okay? Start working on that because side breathing is going to take quite a while to master. And the fifth and final tip for all of you that are practicing front crawl this summer, 2021, is to practice in the shallow water open area. Do not, sh do not practice front crawl in any lane, okay? Do not. You're gonna piss people off. It's like you, you, the beginner driver, trying to practice your driving day one on the highway. You're just gonna piss a lot of people off, especially me when I'm trying to do my work, all right? We, lap swimmers are not for Most of us, that are trying to learn how to drive in the beginning, we practice in an empty parking lot where there's lots of space for us to practice. Same thing goes with swimming. Do not practice in the highway, practice in an empty parking lot. And that empty parking lot in a pool is the open, shallow area. And yes, there are gonna be kids and toddlers and parents and babies around you at the same time. And it seems embarrassing, but there's no shame to it. Okay, I've taken my adult students to shallow end, the baby area, we, and we've worked on our front crawl, our back crawl, and all that. All right, just working on the strokes itself. It just saves us a lot of time and hassle and stress because we don't have to argue with other swimmers that say, hey, you're getting in the way, stop practicing. And if you are practicing, if you are training your student front crawl in the lanes where most lap swimming occurs, stop it, okay? I'm looking at you. You swim instructors that block our lanes when you, when I and other lap swimmers are trying to do our work. It's very rude, especially busy time, peak times, like after school or in the mornings. That's just very rude, okay? I would ne you would never take your son or daughter who's first learning to drive out on the highway you know, after work 5 p.m. on a Friday, would you? It's gonna piss a lot of people off on the highway, okay? So don't do that. Practice in the shallow, open water area. Open water area, okay? Not the lanes, the open water area. And you're free to do whatever you like. There's no shame. To summarize, tip number one, wear goggles and a swim cap. Tip number two, wear a flotation belt. Tip number three, flutter kit. Work on your flutter kit. Tip number four, barrel rolls, okay? Barrel rolls before side breathing. Tip number five, practice in shallow open water areas. And if you have tip number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, sixty, blah, 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 
please leave them down in the comments down below. And that's all I have to say in this video. I hope you have fun this summer, okay? 2021 is looking great. Let us know how you're doing with your front crawl. Join our Facebook group. You know the drill. All the links are down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, take care. My name is Justin. Bye-bye.